Shelling peas, shelling peas. Yes, we are. I got a pink eye purple hull. What you got? Whippersnappers. Whippers, boy, them, <laughs> them whippersnappers are good now. Yes, uh, they are. Just remind y'all of anything. Y'all <laughs> shelling peas? I tell you what, it's hot picking peas. Yes, we sweated. But. Hey, you got to get it when the, when the getting's when, good. When they ripe, you got to get them. But they ain't nothing like growing your own food and going out there and harvesting it. Yeah, Charlotte just asked me, so what does it feel like growing your own food? I said, well, we've been doing it for a while. But every year, every year, we it's say still the same exciting. Thing. How's it feel? Yes. That last planter that I done turned out pretty pretty near perfect. So We'll be we'll be planting stuff in those tomorrow. We'll make a video of that. And uh see how that goes. Even if you can't even if you don't sell them. I mean it's beneficial to the nursery because people can see what they would look like with a plant in them and they just they decide they had to have a couple for the patio or something. So they can put in an order. I can have a couple of them made in four days. Yep. I picked some of mine too. They wasn't ready. No, but I like the snaps in. <clears throat> well, I like having the snaps in. Yeah, we put a few snaps in there. Mm -hmm. But these will be going in the freezer. Yes. Have you blanched these and get them in the freezer? Yeah, I have to blanch them. If you don't blanch your peas, they have a funny taste. Hope everybody's doing good today. We've been getting a lot of, like I said in the other video, a lot of rain, which is a good thing. But it makes it muggy. Yeah. It makes it so muggy. It rained for two days, all yesterday and all today. Mm -hmm. But we got that little disturbance going on down in the Gulf. So we needed the rain, though. It it almost a month before we had any rain. I was having to irrigate, and on the hugel bed, you. Don't really have to irrigate a whole lot, but I was having to. Y'all, this brings back memories of when I used to sell peas with my granny. Um, those are good memories. And every year when we do this, I think of those memories. Ain't that something? Ain't that something how you, those memories lay dormant until something like this comes triggers. around and triggers it. And then you just reminisce over and over and over again, which is so awesome. Yeah, we find memories in them. Yes. And they were, they were about my age. Now I'm the old, now I'm the old guy sitting on the and me too. I'm the old woman. Yeah, we're the old, we're the elderly sitting on the couch yelling people. <laughs> Wishing we had some help. <laughs> we wouldn't help them. Ain't nobody helping us. We uh, I remember my granny used to say, "Make sure the peas hit the bowl." Yeah. Not on the floor. Yes, Granny. Yes, ma'am. I tried.
Now I got a lot more of those uh, whipper snappers. I bought a whole pound of those. And uh, these, we'll probably get another picking off of these these bushes. Because they were still, they're still blooming. Oh my like goodness. Crazy. And not only that, we only got a quarter of the way down the roads. Yeah, we got to go out and get the rest of them. Still got a whole pile of them out there. We got hot. I said, let's go in and show what we got. <laughs> then this afternoon, this evening when it gets cool, I'll go out there and get the rest of them. But what do y'all do for fun? I mean... <laughs> We got so many projects going on around here, yeah. which, which it keeps us active. What do they say? Idle hands is the devil's playground? Yeah. I try to, I try to keep something going. But even if I was idle, I still wouldn't be in the devil's playground. Oh, come on. No. Love my Jesus, my salvation. Hey, y'all better, y'all better get ready. Everything that's going on nowadays. They say in, uh, a popus is going to hit 29. They named that thing after the God of Destruction. And it's going to hit Friday the 13th. That'll be April the 13th, 2029. Hey, yeah. we ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. All we got to do is worry about our salvation with the Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure we're right. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. No. We know it's coming because we know what the Word says. The Scriptures tell all about it. The Word says that there'll be a star fall from the sky, wipe out the, the, I think it's a third of the population. Hey, if we're part of that third, we just go home and be with Jesus. That kind of stuff we really don't. I don't have no fear of that. The song says, When my name is called in glory, I'll be there. What's that girl saying? Oh, the Lord has heard and answered every prayer. And with him I've made it right. Justified within his sight. When my name is called in glory, I'll be there. Yes, amen. Made me want to break out and do it. <laughs> Meditating on the Lord. Shelling my peas. Got a few squash too. We had fried squash yesterday. I got a pack of sausage in there. We'll uh, cut them squash up. And put that sausage in there. Make some cornbread. That's a good eating. Well, 
This is what we're going to be doing for the next hour. So uh, we'll go ahead and turn this off and get it sent on out to you so y'all can see it. See what we're doing. In our daily blog. <laughs> we enjoy talking with y'all. Can't wait to go live. Yeah. If mm -hmm. we can... If we, if we ever make it to a thousand people, we'll start going live, man. So we would have probably been at a thousand if we'd have kept going. Yeah. You know, we quit two years ago. We we kind of quit because I think well, more or less we got lazy with it. No, I, no, <laughs> no. There ain't lazy bone in my body. Whoop, whoop. But uh Y'all hear that? Well they ain't. You ought to know that. He's not a lazy man. I probably work harder now than I ever have in my life. He, he's a go-getter. The thing is, I, he keeps me going after. She can't hold up. Don't let her kid you. I, I'll be honest. Nope. She can't hold up. I was like, what you doing now? She said, them peas ready. I'm out there in the pea pack. <laughs> I'm picking the peas. She said, she sticks her head out the back door. Hey, is them peas ready? <laughs> yeah, I told you yesterday they was going to be ready. Well, where you at? I can't even. I said, I'm in the pea patch picking the peas. So. And I shut the door. She shut the door. <laughs> and I said, well. But she, in a little while. I eventually come out She had there. to go get her shoes on. But I eventually come out there. But Charlotte's timing and my timing is not the same. Never have been. No. I don't. When I get ready to do something, I just go ahead and get after it. I'm a planner. He's yeah. not a planner. I'm a doer. I'm not going to. And if it takes me a few days to plan a 30 yeah. minute chore. Yeah. It's okay with me. But uh that's just the way it is. I mean, I could try and change her a long time ago. And Hey, she didn't have a lot of changing that needed to be done. No. I, th I changed more than she did. Which, I stayed gone. I worked on he the worked. road a lot. Yeah, he worked, he worked uh, power plants. Yeah, I was a pipe fitter and pipe welder for 30 yeah. years. Yeah. Now, now I'm a gardener. <laughs> now I'm a now I'm a concrete planter baby maker I'm going to have a lot of snaps in these because I accidentally put too many snaps it don't matter but we, we'll eat them we're going to eat them I did too on these did you? yeah but a wise man told me something one time he said be careful you try to start trying to change a person, you might wind up with something you didn't even want. That's it. That's right. So, if you can't get along from the get-go, might need to back up and re-examine. Right. All right. I guess we're going to call it a, a wrap. <laughs> and we will see y'all on the next one. I got to walk up here and turn you off. Oh, don't put my face in there.